Well, one of the city's most popular <laughs> events is returning to downtown Louisville to officially launch the Christmas season. I love it. WLKY's Alexis Matthews has details on what you can expect at this year's Light Up Louisville. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Santa's elves spreading holiday cheer means Christmas is near, and the Metro's largest event to kick off the season is only a few weeks away. The real Santa Claus, his first stop on the world tour is New York City Thanksgiving Day. Stop number two is Louisville, Kentucky. Light Up Louisville, a beloved tradition, brings old St. Nick and Louisville families downtown the day after Thanksgiving. The experience features a 35-foot Christmas tree at Jefferson Square Park, holiday crafts for kids, and live performances of your favorite Christmas carols. Hear the snow crunch, see the kids bunch, this is Santa's big scene. And a highly anticipated Lots of Lights parade down Jefferson to 4th Street Live. But it's the grand fireworks show and Mayor Fisher illuminating the city that solidifies the holiday season is in full swing. When you're right in the middle of it and you're looking over and you think, boy, the entire city is here with their kids. And again, that's what it's all about. Light Up Louisville is also about giving, with the event serving as a citywide Toys for Tots drive, ahead of the mayor's December 2nd Toys for Tots event at Metro Hall, which this year is adding drop-off boxes at every Louisville fire station. Last year, we stepped up and we crushed our goal. We had almost 7,000 toys brought downtown during the mayor's 12-hour challenge, so our city really responded in a big way. As the city gears up to celebrate the spirit of the season, event organizers are confident it'll be a safe one. There's no question in my mind about that. Uh, if there was any question, we would have big resolve about bringing somebody in as important as Santa Claus and families within the community. Happy Holidays! In Louisville, Alexis Matthews, WOKY News. Now